so hi friends this is amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video so the shift 2 of march 18 has been done now so this concludes the march attempt of the jmain 2021 so i am here with the analysis of the paper that is shift 2 of march 18 so i have got many feedback from the student uh, about the pay difficulty level of the paper so i will consider that and i will talk about the expected cut of category wise and I, I will also talk about the difficulty level subject wise that so, is how is the paper of chemistry how is the paper of physics and how is the uh, paper for mathematics and i will also compare the overall difficulty level with the fab attempt and with the previous shift of the march attempt also so there is one more information regarding the je that is paper 2 result of fab attempt has been released now so if you haven't checked uh, it yet you can check that uh, on the website uh, so so that you will know about the result if you have appeared for the paper 2 of uh, of the fab attempt so if you are first to my channel please subscribe the channel because uh, as, as the march the attempt has been done now so i will discuss the shift wise marks versus percentile i will make a separate video in which i will talk about the shift wise marks versus percentile and shift wise expected cut of marks so uh, you uh, so that you will get that video so please subscribe the channel and you will also get many more information not about only je but also about other interest exam also at the right time so please subscribe the channel i request you again and i will make many more videos on an it cut up triple it cut up and i have already made many videos and one special video is that percentile versus your category rank so that you can get your expected category rank so and and after that you can estimate yourself which type of an it you can get because in my every cut up video i talk about the category wise cut up so whether you are from sc st obc ews or uh, general candidate you will get all the information here on this channel so please subscribe the channel i request you again so let's start the video so here is the analysis of the paper that is second shift of march 18 so some topic we are un untouched so this is the uh, rare thing because in the first shift also some topic we are untouched this is uh, rare about nta because nta always try to uh, cover all the syllabus and try to give question from every syllabus that is possible so from the last two shift i have seen that that, uh, some topic we are untouched so there is no question from some topics so this is rare about this shift uh, so instruction we are given to each question that is uh, for a uh, integer type question if you have done any mistake in the uh, in the previous shift that is fab attempt because yes. instruction we are given for every uh, integer type question so that you can easily write the answer in the correct format uh, so uh, the question we are from expected topic as i said so if you are targeting the april or may attempt please uh, see watch that video so that you will have the idea about the expected topic which will have easy question and surely in all the shift the question we are from that uh, topic that i have discussed so please watch that video and if you have any doubt you can ask in the comment section or on the instagram also you will get a whatsapp group link also both the link will be present in the description box you can easily contact me and you can ask any type of question from me so now come on, come to the paper so first of all i will talk about the chemistry chemistry was again ncrt based and it was easy and now if you talk about the difficulty of the question so there were 15 question that is considered to be easy and 10 was average and overall five question were hard that is uh, really uh, tough to attempt so you can say it was a moderate easy to moderate level paper because some students say it was easy some say it was moderate so you can say it was easy to moderate so this is the first time i have seen that chemistry for second shift is easy to moderate because in the earlier shift and in also fab attempt the second shift chemistry was a little bit tricky so there is a similarity between first and second shifts today only but in other days the the second shift used to be harder hard. than the first shift so and now if you talk about the physics physics was conceptual and numerical based numerical question was there so now if you talk about the difficulty of the question so 10 number of question we are from eg section and 8 uh, average and 12 harder section so this makes the paper moderate to tough because this is the first time i have seen the physics is moderate to tough earlier it was uh, uh, used to be moderate or easy to moderate but in this, in this time it was moderate to hard as the student has suggested uh, so math was uh, easy but lengthy and there was uh, there were 12 easy question from the topics such as permutation combination probability 3d geometry and uh, uh, 
binomial theorem uh, these are the topic that you can look for in the uh, for the upcoming attempt because there will be question from that topic surely so now if you talk about the difficulty so math was moderate neither hard nor easy it was lengthy so that it it was uh, it is considered to be moderate but the question we are easy so now if you talk about the overall difficulty of the paper the overall difficulty is moderate same as the first shift paper so um, uh, but it was little harder than the first shift you can't say the same but it was also moderated you can't say it was hard but uh, um, but if you compare it with the fab attempt of the corresponding shift then it was harder than that and also day by day or uh, say, um, attempt by attempt the paper will be become more difficult as the student uh, preparation will also go to the next level so now it will also affect on the uh, cutoff and marks versus percentile so if you talk about the cutoff i have already made the video that is expected cutoff for march uh, session that is category wise there you can check and also you will get the marks versus percentile and the safe score for category wise if you are from general and you need top 10 and it with cs how much marks you need to score and if you are scst all type of thing have been discussed there and don't worry i will make a separate video for all the shift shift wise marks versus percentile and expected cutoff category wise so stay tuned and please subscribe the channel so that you will get that video and i will make many more video related to je and other entrance exam also in future so this is all about the march session of the uh, je 2021 hope you find this video useful and share this video to your friends thanks